Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. I choose to remember every defining moment of my life. Good ones and the bad. Remember me, try to create this cinematic gaming experience trying to give you this brand new world we never seen before built upon a company stealing memories everything plays around a certain memory hunter uh neil and she has lost her memories and she has to gain them back with the help of her friends the game also features a chain like combo combat system similar to something like amazing spider-man or batman games you also have platforming pushed in there, a unique feature called Memory Remix, and last but not least, a cinematic experience that means there's a lot of cutscenes similar to Metal Gear. So does that mean that this world comes alive, or will you be forgetting Remember Me? You get it? Because Remember Me, yeah. Okay. The goods are the design, graphics, and the world built feature. What do I mean by that? Um, that actually means that the world that they created is pretty amazing. A lot of games create worlds, but this one feels genuine. As if creators sat down and built this years after years of just planning, which is pretty cool. That's not to take away from other games though, it just really feels like they've worked really hard in this game. Another thing is the graphics and design. Graphics are slick and great to look at. The unique design is also wonderful to travel through. Going through cities or slums, either one, both are fun to actually look at. The character design is mostly a hit too, though some, like this guy named Christmas, I know, retarded, are horrible. Overall though, got some pretty great looking cities and good character models. Combat and platforming are also serviceable, so I won't really say they're amazing, but once we get more into the bad, I'm going to talk about why they're just serviceable and not great. So here we go. The story. It's not really bad by any means, but it's not convincing enough. When you get sucked into a world like this, you want a story or, or at least characters that you want to care about. Three hours in and I still didn't give a fuck about a single character and that's just not good. The fact that I didn't get drawn into this mysterious background of our main character is also not a good thing. Of course this is an opinion based but it seems like a lot tend to agree with me here. The story just could have been pre better presented. I also thought the combat and platforming, while it worked, just didn't do anything special. After games like Uncharted and Tomb Raider, you have to step up the platforming. Make it fun to look at, but more fun to actually play through. Be exhilarating. This is just not at all. The gameplay also wasn't even on par with Amazing Spider-Man, let alone something like a Batman game. It tries to make this really cool combo idea work, but it just doesn't really boring until you get later in the game the combo system actually doesn't even fully work really well on top of that it feels sluggish and it doesn't match to, like the swiftness of any of these other games out there sadly it just comes off dull and the last thing and this is the only really ugly feature of the entire game is the goddamn awful camera I mean most times it's decent enough to walk through other times it causes you um these unwanted deaths out of nowhere and other times it's so bad that it makes it fucking impossible to actually fight and the ps2 is probably like hey can i have a war with you because even my worst games aren't as bad as this shit it's just a very ugly feature and something that just needed to be addressed quickly Saying all that, I don't think Remember Me is an awful game. It's just a game that's so ambitious, but just doesn't come through in a lot of its things. Um, basically, if they make a sequel, what I want to see improved is definitely the combat, make the platforming more fun to look at, and give us characters or at least a story that's actually worth a damn. Right now, as it stands, it's a unique game with a unique look, but that's just about all you're going to get with this title. I definitely recommend at best to rent this game. I mean, if you really want to buy it definitely buy it when it's a lot cheaper 
but honestly, every gamer fan, if you want my honest opinion, this is a rent at best. Honestly, it's kind of a skip, to be honest, especially with Last of Us around the corner. So I'm going to give it a rent only because it is worthwhile just to see the unique design and world. But if you really don't care about this game, you're not missing much. Why did our enemies erase my memory? Am I really that dangerous? If you would like to support my book, easily just go on Amazon.com, type in Exterminators Infected, and either pick the ebook or the paperback and purchase. Thank you very much for the support, it means a lot.